I need a coffee before I continue on with anything else. And I need a hot one because I'm frigid. What do I get? I never Hello, get Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? Hi, um, can I get a grande non-fat latte with just one pump of pumpkin, please? What size? Grande. Oh, sorry. Non-fat okay. latte. Do you want the hot or ice? Hot, please. Sorry, I forgot to say that. And one pump pumpkin, of course. Anything else? Um, do you have the bacon gouda sandwich? We do. Okay, I'll do one of those too, please. Of course. Anything else? That's it. All right, it's going to be 11 or 9. Thank you. I'm nervous. I haven't ordered a hot coffee out and I don't even know, like years probably. Maybe not years, but I only trust hot coffee from my Nespresso, so this could be bad considering I've had no caffeine today. And I gotta film a video. I gotta be ch chirpy, chippy, chipper, and peppy is what I was trying to say. Oh, so we're vlogging. We are vlogging today. Hi. Your eyes are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, no, that's okay. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Now, wasn't she just the most adorable little thing complimenting me? See? That's so nice. But the thing is, I heard her say the exact same thing to the car in front of me. I don't know if you guys heard it. Maybe we'll have to rewind that back. But I'm really hoping it was not a Regina George situation because that, that will make me sad. That will make me a little sad. Not gonna lie. This is gonna burn my mouth off, so we're gonna, we're gonna wait for that. Do not beep at me. I don't have to go. Like, I don't have to go right on red if I don't feel like it. Like, I was not in the mood to go right on run, Mr. Ford. F-150. need to chill. I'm gonna go slower. Jerk. I'm not going right on this red, I'll tell you that right now, mother... Okay, now there's a line of people behind me. I'm going for them, I'm not going for you. I'm going for the line of people behind me, not you, Mr. Ford. hey ay 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 Anyways, welcome back everybody. Clearly doing a little vlogging today. Um, what's on the agenda? The same things that are typically on the agenda when I vlog these days, which is what I'm eating, <laughs> what I'm making for dinner, and I'll probably throw in a few house updates because we are getting closer, people. We are getting closer. Oh, I think I also have a few wedding guest dress options that are coming in today. I have a wedding coming up and I have no idea what to wear. And I think I have like two or three coming today. So we'll do that. Since YouTube doesn't let me add any sweet jams, how about this car alarm beat? Been going for a minute now. Ah, uh, just when I was starting to vibe. Just let it go. It was going on for like the past five minutes while I was eating that sandwich. Oh well, let's try this. Let's do it to it. I don't know if it tastes bad because I just burnt, I burnt off all the taste buds. I have no review for that. No review. You guys, the most insane thing just happened to me and I wish I didn't turn off my camera because then I would have proof of what just happened that this woman was denying. She literally was pulling into the parking spot next to me and hit my car. Like not like traumatically or dramatically hit it, but like my whole car shook and I could hear it, you know, like scraping. So I got out of the car and like waited for her to get out of the car and I was like, um, excuse me, you just hit my car. <laughs> and like I felt bad. I was like, I'm just sorry, but you just hit my car. And she goes, no, no, I didn't. And I go, I was sitting, I was sitting in it and I felt it. My whole car like shook. And she goes, no, I didn't. I would have, I would have known if I hit it. And I'm like, 
if anyone would have known it would be me as I'm sitting in this vehicle and she's like I didn't hit it show me so I like took her to the back I brought her around back and like showed her it's a very like light mark but I'm like you hit it right here like that's where you, that's where the mark is and that's where you hit it and she's like no I'm like okay well I took a picture of her license plate or whatever because she was like getting a little bit nasty with me but I was like okay I have your license plate number but if you want to say you didn't hit it but I'm just like if you want to say you didn't like I was like why would I lie like why would I just sit here and lie so then I go into the grocery store and literally every corner I turn is this woman and she's like giving me a dirty look shaking her head at me literally I keep encountering her throughout the store and I'm like I gotta get out of here but <laughs> she is giving me a dirty look and then I like feel bad because she's probably like late 60s and I'm like why am I feeling bad when this woman hit my car and then lied about it I mean I just she was making me feel insane and then I felt sad that she's giving me all these dirty looks and I just like I wish I kept recording because then I would have pulled out the footage and I would have pulled out the receipts of you shaking my car like I'm shook. I'm literally, I was literally shook. So my Lulu's and ASOS orders have arrived. I'm gonna try those on for you guys. Fingers crossed we have an option that works for the wedding that I have to go to this weekend. Uh, but first I'm gonna eat lunch because I'm starving. Oh, there it is. So this is what we're having for lunch. One of my Factor meals. Factor is sponsoring today's video, but I think you guys know by now that I love them. Um, this is the ricotta meatballs with zucchini noodles and broccoli. So this is one of their lower carb, like conscious options. We are having real pasta for dinner tonight. That's what Chef Steph is making. So I wanna do something a little bit less heavy so this has broccoli as well nice and healthy option no cooking required never frozen fresh meals that actually taste good delivered to your door we love these in our house and i've said this before but the factor meals are just so convenient especially if you work from home and you don't feel like stopping to make lunch or you know going to the grocery store getting more ingredients it's just really convenient for lunch or you know for dinner on nights i don't feel like cooking or we're just like too busy so Yo, these are like good, good. I have not tried this flavor before, but these meatballs, I'm like a meatball fanatic and these meatballs are like, these are top tier. These are like chef stuff quality, oh my goodness. Anyways, clearly I'm a huge fan of Factor. They have so many different menu options. They have um, like keto, they have vegetarian, vegan, chef's choice lots of different options for everyone out there they also have smoothies and little extra add-ons like that as well so if you guys are interested i do have a code for you guys so you can go to go.factor75.com slash stuff lettuce 60 and use my code stuff lettuce 60 to get 60 percent off your first factor box i will have that linked below and you guys can check it out So this is option one. It is already out for me just because of the cleavage situation. But this is really pretty and um, would be good for someone who had less boobs than me. The color is beautiful. This is from ASOS. It has like a Thai um, like high neck collar halter. So because my boobs are like... So big it just kind of like bulges out at the sides which is not really what one would want but it is pretty the silhouette of it honestly i don't even know like is this too big this is a size four and it's just there's just like weird draping happening and i wanted it to be good but it's just not good the next option is also a hard pass i don't know what it is about one shoulder items but they always make me feel like i'm wearing like a sling like i broke my arm and it's just like what is this? It's so much going on. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like on the model. It looks way better on her. Again, I think maybe it's just like a large boob situation. If you have them, let me know how you feel about one shoulders. David, what do you think? Were they as bad as I as I am making them out to be? No comment? Sir? Hi. 
looks so handsome. Just that effortless look. Naturally ombre snout, like what? <laughs> I know, I'm embarrassing you, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, I will stop, I will stop. Okay, so now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Chef stop. She's back. She's in the house. Um, I feel like this is like the highlight of the videos. I don't know. Let me know. Um, but you guys are always asking for more chef stuff. So uh, I made this on stories. I didn't show you guys like the ingredients or anything, but it was my first time making carbonara. <laughs> I feel like Dr. Evil. I'm putting it in air quotes because it's not authentic or, you know, the traditional type of carbonara. What did I call it? The nabonara. So it's like, nah, it's not really, it's like inspired, but I'm not Italian, so I feel like it's okay. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to be authentic, do I? I don't know. So anyways, I am gonna show you guys my version. It came out so good, so we're gonna make it. So this is Chef Steph's Nabonara. So let's get it started. The ingredients I'm using today are garlic, I have whole peeled garlic. I have upgraded from, you know, the pre-minced, but I still buy it um, already peeled because that part, it just takes so long. You know, you gotta pick your battles. I like to do a mixture of Romano and Parmesan, so you don't have to do both. I have to have both, but I kind of prefer, if I could only pick one, I would pick uh, Pecorino Romano over Parmigiana. Parmigiano Reggio, yeah. See, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to do the fancy pronunciations. Um, pancetta, and for my pasta choice, I actually prefer linguine. I don't know what it is, but I only like spaghetti with meatballs and red sauce. I don't like that texture in different pasta dishes. Maybe I'm weird. So I'm going with linguine for this one. And uh, controversial here, we're gonna do a splash of heavy cream. Yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it, and then also we're gonna need some eggs. So when that's almost done, you can see it's getting nice and brown. I'm gonna add in my garlic. I've been loving my garlic press. And I'm gonna do, make sure you don't burn it. I'm gonna do three cloves. Cause I like a lot of garlic. Always make sure you turn on your pan so you don't burn your garlic because burnt garlic tastes nasty. Then just let that saute for like two minutes. So while I'm waiting for my pasta to boil, I'm just gonna get a um, eggshell in there, it just adds some, adds some texture. <laughs> I only ever bring it on camera, I'm so embarrassed. All right, that one was good. All right, so two eggs. Whisk it. Then I'm gonna do like a quarter to a half a cup of cream. And whisk that together. And then we're gonna add in the majority of this grated cheese. Just gonna reserve a little bit for when we wanna garnish, so just like a little bit. And then again, whisk this together. It's like this thick little porridge. So this over here is pretty much done. I'm just gonna crack a little freshly cracked black pepper. It's kind of like a mix between like a cacio e pepe and a, no, just stop. Stephanie, just stop. You're just ruining the culture. You're ruining it. We're gonna add in a generous amount of salt, like generous because you want your pasta to have some saltiness and we're also gonna use some of the reserved pasta water. Ooh, this is like, I'm a witch with a cauldron. Anyways, um, we're gonna use some of the reserved pasta water. So you wanna have just like a nice like flavor in there because we're not gonna add salt otherwise. 
All right, so I'm gonna cook that, let it get al dente. Take a little bit of this pasta water and I'm going to pour it into my egg mixture to kind of get it up to temperature. And you can reserve a little bit extra if you need to. Then instead of draining this, I'm just gonna transfer it right to the pan with the pancetta and garlic. And I saw them do this on the Food Network because it keeps some of the pasta water you know, attached to the noodles so you don't have to add as much later on, which I feel like is kind of genius. So just make sure you get all the nudes. Then we're gonna just start slowly adding this in. So the pan is still warm, but the burner is off. You don't wanna have scrambled eggs. I mean, you may, but not like in your spaghetti, you know? And so obviously if you don't have the cream or you don't wanna do the cream, just add another egg or two. But I feel like having the cream really just adds like this like glossy, like slippery effect. That is just so freaking good. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of my black pepper. A little bit more of my grated cheese and oh my goodness are you professional no you're not and you're not authentic but you are good my friend you are good I saw this thing where they go like this and they just keep twirling it no Is it happening? Is it happening? I mean, but then how do we get the pancetta? <laughs> Italian people are watching this like, Bleh. if you don't shut the F up with your fake Italian pronunciations. Yeah, I just don't know how do we get the pancetta when we're doing that move. Do we individually add her? I don't know, I'm not that gal. I'm not that gal, so we're just gonna do Chef staff style. She is Instagram worthy. No? Kinda? Yeah? A1 day one. So good, man. Now all they need is a glass of wine, right? Nice glass of SML. So I just came back for seconds. And I've just had it on the warming center. I don't know if like your stove has that, but just like keeps things warm. And the texture is even better now. I feel like it kind of absorbed more of the sauce. So maybe after you add in the sauce, like put the burner on like really, really low just for like a few minutes. Obviously you don't want to like scramble your eggs, but oh my God, it's even better. Try it. You guys want to know the shitty thing about fall is that Two days ago, there was the most beautiful fall foliage. No, it's gone. Everything's dead and fallen.